So I've got a crazy laser set up here today and I'm just, just going to test some laser detection on some radar detectors. Um, now we've got a laser gun. The laser gun is set about 50 centimeters off the ground and it's firing straight out the garage. It's not hitting the detectors at all. So the question is, without any reflection at all, can any of these radar detectors, are any of them able to detect the laser beam? So first we've got the um, Escort Redline original. So, no detection on the red line. DFR seven, unit and DFR seven. Okay. So no detection on those. Now I'm just going to try the R seven real briefly. That is not unexpected because um, the laser gun, the laser is not hitting any of the sensors on any of those detectors. But that's okay. That's the start of what I wanted to show you. Okay. So the only difference now is I've got a kettle of water on the floor. And the laser beam is passing not through the kettle but over the top, through the steam that's going over the top of it. So I'm still not getting anything on the R7. Uh, I've done this with all the other units and detectors and we're not able to get any detection. But let me show you what happens if I use a radar detector that's a bit more sensitive on laser. The original red line was a great, um, great radar detector for long range ra uh, radar, but it had really good sensitivity on laser as well. And there aren't many laser, there aren't many radar detectors with laser capability. So we can now pick up the laser beam passing through the steam is able to be detected on the red line. In the middle of a storm now outside. Look at it. Look at it. Later, 
So now with the laser pointer, now we can see the beam. We can see with the kettle. We can sometimes see the laser beam. And that means if we can see the laser beam, Okay, so this time I've slightly changed the angle, so the detector is pointing slightly more towards the setup, but nowhere near the laser beam itself, not directly at the laser beam. The laser beam itself is still going straight out the garage door. So if I just fire. No detection from the red line, straight out the door. Yeah, and the red line is on, it's all good. Now it's on moisture. Straight away, the red line can get that. Now, let's see if we can do this with the R7 or all the engines and get something similar. R7. Okay, R7. Still nothing on the R7. Put the red line back on again. So maybe because the kettle the water's cooled down a bit. Again. 
the red line is way, way, way more sensitive on laser. The red line is so, so much more sensitive than laser. So there's enough diffraction or enough um, scattering caused by the moisture in the air to get the red line alerting even off axis and nowhere near being hit by the laser beam itself. Um, we just proved that these other detectors are actually on laser. threes and the R7s are now better for radar detection, but the red line and I think probably the V1 Gen 2, I suspect its laser performance is also quite a bit better. Um, but yeah, so if uh, laser is only a ticket notifier, um, that's what people think. I disagree. I think there's a lot more to it than that. I think it's entirely possible. This is only a short experiment. But if you think the moisture in the air over 400 metres, yes, you haven't got a boiled kettle, but there's still plenty of moisture actually in the air itself, and that's more than enough to cause enough diffraction so you're not picking up just the beam, you can actually pick up laser that's actually diffracted or scattered from the moisture in the air itself. And that's what's actually causing the laser to be activated, whereas the engines seem to require much more of a direct hit. Um, so... In some cases, getting laser hit is definitely a ticket notifier, but in other cases, it's definitely not. It's definitely a lot more than that. You can definitely get saves on laser with a good laser sensor on your, la on your radar detector. Okay. 